dry skin. On your cat? In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to be discussing dry skin, five quick and easy remedies that can make a big difference in making a much happier cat. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I'd love for you to click below, check out my new Patreon page, where if you can, a small monthly donation will go a long way in helping me out. So it's getting colder outside. In fact, I'm starting to see snow up in the mountains. And way up there on the mountain across from us is called Elephant Mountain, there's snow. It's covered in clouds, you can't see it right now. When it's cold outside, it becomes warmer inside. Also, with, with the help of this behind me, the fireplace. So when that wood heat is going, everything just dries out. Like my skin, it gets so, so flaky and dry. You know, my skin, cracked heels. Like, likewise, the very same thing with our cats. Murray, my reluctant video star, Oh, he's looking so happy. He also has dry so skin. So I've now. been petting Murray. He's been, yes, you've been hanging around the house more often. It's a bit colder outside. He wants to be in. So his coat is drying out as well. Um, you know, if there's just a mild bit of dryness, eh, it's okay. Maybe you necessarily don't need to do anything about it. But when it becomes the point where your cat seems irritated, Murray's been maybe scratching a bit. And I checked him, no kind of external parasites, no fleas. It's likely just due to his dry, dry skin. So let's show them Murray cat. So here in amongst Murray's fur, you can see all this, many of you guys can see it, all this bits of dandruff. And that's just dot, um, dry skin, dead skin that's flaking off. A small amount is normal. It's normal to have our skin grow, um, fulfill its normal functions, and then die and fall off, hence dandruff. But when it becomes excessive, as it is now, it could mean that there's an underlying problem. It could mean this, the air is just really dry as it is in here. He's losing some of that healthy moisture that keeps his skin healthy, keeps him from itching, and he's starting to itch. So yeah, just this little, you know, that one comb with that one brush, oh, that just, there's hundreds of dandruff chunks. Start by adding more moisture back into your house. Obviously the easiest thing is with the humidifier, which we have here. I am gonna fill it up with some water. Water everywhere. Maybe I can get it in. Oh my God. Once again, years of post, years of post-secondary education, hard at work. Oh, I can do it. Let's go back, run, run back. Oh, I think we may have humidity. Ta-da, and there it is, right? More moisture in there, in the air. Second, you know, less of this stuff, this dry, not necessarily very nutritious kibble. And I want you guys to be feeding more of this more canned cat food, food period, which is high in animal protein, as this is, which has virtually no carbohydrates, has all this additional moisture. Hmm. Looking at 80% moisture versus no moisture in that dry stuff. So just one, the additional moisture with the canned food, two, probably as important, is the whole benef uh, benefits of having being it nutritionally sound. So being animal-based protein, no carbs. Third, I want you to be adding something to your cat's diet that's gonna aid their skin, potentially improve the skin barrier, that epidermal barrier. Um, the secondary may, you know, alter some of the bacteria on the surface of the skin, proving more of those good bacteria that provide a protective defense. So probiotics can do exactly that. 
I mean, they've been shown to be beneficial for some of the inflammatory skin diseases. Um, so that may be an underlying cause that could be causing your cat's dry skin. As well, they can help provide that sort of protective layer. We wanna have like healthy skin that's not dying prematurely, a little more resistant to dryness, which may be occurring in your home now. So in my supplement, Ultimate Feline Health Formula, there are seven different probiotics, which may be beneficial for your cat's skin health and in particular for dandruff. Let's try just some out of Murray. So we're just gonna think about it. Standard cat dose is about a scoop a day. I've sort of intermittently been treating Murray and I think that's why his skin has gotten a bit drier. He really likes the supplement, so I should have it on. I should be giving it to him just regularly because he just happily gobbles it down. It's the standard cat, no Murray, not the lid. The standard cat dose is about one scoop a day. So let's give Murray his scoop. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna mix it in Murray. It's funny because sometimes he likes the supplement better than he likes his canned food. Yep, come here. Yep. Is it guaranteed it's gonna make a big difference? No, but can it really make a difference in your cat's gut health, which can then impact their skin health? You bet it can, especially when we're thinking about 70% of our, our, our immune system, our pet's immune systems are located in their intestinal tract. Okay, here's some good bacteria. A whole bunch of other good things are beneficial for you. Okay, Murray, you can chow down. Okay, it's good to know that he's eating it on camera. Fourth, look at adding in some of those good fats that can really improve your cat's skin health. Uh, the most important one are the essential fatty acids, but you can also be considering coconut oil. This is a fish oil supplement, has EPA, DHA. Um, when we're looking at cat doses, uh, somewhere between, there's a range, somewhere between 250 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams a day total of the oil. For these capsules here, it says that each capsule provides a thousand milligrams. That's what I want Murray to have. So I'm not gonna shove it in his mouth. I'm just gonna drizzle it in his food. Just wanna see if he's gonna consume it. Because, yeah, I do not relish the idea of having to forcefully give anything to Murray. You can lead a cat to water, but you can't make him drink or horse. And anyway, a cat is much the same. Murray is on his own little timeline. Okay, Murray. Let's see if you're gonna consume this. Well, what do you think of that fish oil? It'd be much easier if you would eat it because I sure don't wanna have to daily give it to you. Now he is consuming it, which is awesome. Another oil you could be considering is this. It's the coconut oil and it can be put on topically as well as given orally. It doesn't have the same anti-inflammatory benefits as the fish oil would have. It doesn't have EPA DH in it, but it's really rehydrating and re-moisturizing to the skin. Um, so it can be given two ways. So I'm gonna see if Murray will just lick it right off my finger. If you're looking at approximate cat dose, you know, we're looking at about a quarter to, of a teaspoon, you know, for five pounds. Murray would get, I would be somewhere between, start out with half a teaspoon, don't want him to give him diarrhea or anything. And there's a fair amount of calories in, that, in this fat as well, but it's a really good healthy fat. Okay, Murray, let's see what you think of this coconut. I'm gonna see if you'll lick it off my hand. Tuli really, really likes it. Oh, you do like it. And the other way, if there's just a local area, you know, feel free to just rub it into the base of your cat's skin, right? Wherever they're really dandruffy and itchy. What do you think? And then if he does go to groom himself after, it's totally fine, because he's got that natural oil. Also good for your own hands. As you can see, mine are starting to soften up. The last thing I want to have you guys consider is using an essential oil um, to add into that humidifier, which we started out with, which may also potentially decrease your cat's anxiety and stress. Because what we do know is, as a cat that is anxious, they're they have they're stressed, they're just gonna they're gonna lose more hair, they're gonna have more dandruff, and this is a real simple, easy, natural way to potentially decrease their anxiety and decrease some of their shedding and dandruff. I really like the essential oils from Young Living. I'll put a description below in the show notes for those of you who are interested. As far as doses, I'll usually add about 10 drops to about you know a full liter of water. That's about four cups. So Murray, let's get it smelling nicer in here, kitty cat. See how this is gonna work. All right, Murray, open it. You know it's live when. Oh yeah, I got, I got it. Okay, let's add another 10 drops of lavender. 
You can also get you know, spe specific vaporizers. Uh, some of those can come from Young Living, meant for the essential oils, but this is what I have for a humidifier in the house. It just adds a bit more moisture, which I like as well. Okay, Murray, here you come. Let's see if I can get this on correct again and also make it smell nicer. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Venery Secrets. If you've yet to do so, I'd love for you to click up there to subscribe to my channel. Click down there to sign up for notifications, you won't miss a video. And then when you click the link further in the box below and you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free book on how to heal your cats at home with my top natural remedies. Thanks Murray for being so tolerant. Yes. You also have to give a thumbs up to Murray, who is surprisingly tolerant as he gets older in the video household. Okay, Murray Cat. Yes. See, I give you food. I don't do too much to you. I don't put you on the exam table. How bad is it? Yes, oh. Apparently worse than I think. All right. <laughs>